On today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how we pulled this off. So first, the prompt is to track upwards with the camera along a fork that is absurdly long. And as you go up the fork, there are different items that the prongs are poking through. Okay, so this is what the challenge is. To create this video without a giant robot arm with limited budget and limited time. Putting items on the fork should be easy, but what we have to think about is number one, do we go practical? Or number two, do we go digital for the effect? If you go practical, we need a big ass fork. And if you go fully digital, then we would need to pay lots of money, which would put us out of budget. A third option would be to mix practical and digital. So we would still need a big fork, but it doesn't have to be as long because we can replicate the center prongs and add whatever we want to it along the way. So we ended up going with the third option, which is a mix of practical and digital effects. We then reached out to a steel worker who made us this medium giant fork, and we also got a motorized jib to make the shot. This was the idea. We would have the fork lined up and we would shoot the same speed and length of a move passing by all our items on the fork, and we could stitch those together. The aim was that since it was all timed the same and lined up that they would seamlessly connect. So we did that. On another note, to get the effect, we shot an opening of the handle and it moving from the handle up toward the middle. We shot a track of the middle and the top where the prongs were. So we had a bottom, middle, and top. Once we shot all these elements, we jumped into the edit, imported all the shots, lined some of them up, and timed it out. This didn't work at all, which happens. You create things in your head that can sometimes break through and create a new tool in your belt, and then sometimes your solution doesn't work, and it turns into a challenge. Back to square one. Okay, so let's dive into the issues. The jib didn't move up and down perfectly, straight like an elevator, which is what we wanted. Instead, it moved with a bit of a curve, meaning the camera was changing distances away from the fork as it moved up and down, which made the perspective a moving target. Second thing that was happening was the jib speed wasn't as consistent as we needed it to be, even though it was motorized. Third was that every time we put a new item on it, the fork would move slightly and it was hard to keep it in the same place. These three factors made it impossible to get right. So we shot every item static on the fork. Sometimes you gotta keep it simple. So here's the solution. We mixed photo assets with live video. This should work. In Photoshop, we made cutouts of the bottom, middle, and top of the fork, creating a really long fork with extra middles so we would have this super long fork. Next, we brought all of those assets into our After Effects and built a really tall composition. We cut out all the items we wanted to be on the fork, but those we kept as video. Each shot at least 30 seconds to exist during the duration of the ad. We put all the items where we wanted them along the fork, trying to keep the spacing equal. Once we were good with that, we exported that composition and brought it into Premiere. In Premiere is where we created the camera move. We put that tall comp into our 16 by nine Premiere comp and tracked upwards along the fork. It worked perfectly and since most of the elements are video, it really sells the effect. We did work with a VFX team on the original piece, and this was a short version of how we solved the problem. If some of you saw this as obvious, I'll say one thing. We were trying to do it as practical as possible, and once you're in that mindset, it's hard to think of other options to get out of that box. But luckily, we eventually did and got to a good place. We wanted to show you guys this because if we can replicate it, then you can too. So the way I was thinking about it was practical versus digital, right? But what I should have been thinking about was motion versus static and thinking about how the camera was moving or how the camera doesn't need to move. Wow, well, right, reckon. And the way I think about it is like, you have a super tall composition and in Premiere you have the 16 by nine frame and it's like you're taking the strip and just running it through. Instead of the camera moving up and down, you're taking the actual sort the footage and the media that you've created in this asset and running it through. You're like reverse engineering it, right? Like normally with a robot camera, you, the camera would do all the movement and you would have this thing that exists in real life, this three-dimensional thing. But here we don't have a robot camera. Uh, the, the measure we took to get the movement and the motion didn't end up working. So this third option, which you could call it a cheat, but I just think it's a perfect solution. And when we were working with our VFX team who created that original spot that I showed you in the beginning, they worked through this with us and we really appreciate that. Okay, that's it. Please gently push that subscribe button so you don't miss new videos and other tutorials like this. We really appreciate your support. I hope you found this valuable and this school of thought helps you out on a current or future project. See you next time.